Pete Wishart. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you for the birthday wishes. And I'll always be a year older than you, uh, sir, so there we go. And as well as being my birthday, it's also uh, Budget Boxing Day. And if anything, <laughs> if anything, Budget Boxing Day is actually more interesting and more revealing than Budget Day itself. Because Budget Boxing Day is where we get we get all these useful clarifications, the start of all the climb downs and the justification for all those broken manifesto promises. It usually involves the Chancellor of the Exchequer scurrying around all the broadcasters trying to do all these things at once. So can I suggest a way how we could maybe resolve this? How about having a statement on Budget Boxing Day where the Chancellor of the Exchequer could come to you, give all these useful clarifications, start all the climb downs and justify all these broken manifesto promises? In Scotland, we're grateful for that 300 50 million pounds that we're going to secure in Barnet Consequentials as a result of this budget. But we do note that this is exactly the same amount of money, this 350 million pounds is the same money that Scotland will get in a year that the NHS Four is supposed years. to get in one week after we leave yeah. Brexit. Yeah. Yeah. It's hardly going to offset the three billion pounds worth of cuts that we'll face in the next 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, I note in the business paper there's three days set aside for consideration of Lord's amendments if necessary as this government attempts to ping that pong that's coming from those heroes in Ermine who are continuing to stand up to the government. But I note that this only goes on till Wednesday. So what happens if we've still got these paddles out and we're still at the table? Is the government going to enforce the Parliament Act? How does this impact on this Article 50 process? And will we clarify today what is going to go on? But can we encourage the people's aristocrats to continue to back for that Remain cause? And lastly, Mr Speaker, is the Leader of the House got any explanation for the behaviour of the Prime Minister yesterday, None. when it looked like she was swallowing a fish when she was sitting there <laughs> at that front bench. It was almost like Mike Yarwood doing an impersonation of Ted Heath. Can you go back to number 10 and tell her there's no place for behaviour like that? <laughs> <laughs>